Hey, what's going on? Shane Serrano here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get your snowboard ready for the winter season, showing you a different waxing technique that will really clean up your base so your board will be running fast and it'll be ready to ride as soon as you are. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Throughout the fall, I've been posting product and board review videos. And as we get going through the winter season, I'm gonna be uploading videos that follow me in powder days and park days and just the sweet days we have here in Aspen with all the homies. So if the last time you snowboarded was in the late spring or the summer, your board may be a little dirty. And that's because during those times of the year, there may be a bunch of dirt and particles in the snow that may not have been there in the middle of winter. And so those kind of collect in your board and in your base. Also, if you hit rails a lot, you might have some grease stains or some other gunk in your base that is slowing you down. And with this waxing technique, which we'll be doing a hot wax scrape, it kind of pulls all that dirt and all that material out that'll slow you down. So your board will be nice and fast and ready for this season. So starting off, just like if we're gonna hot wax any board, first thing to do is to slightly loosen your bindings. If you don't do that and you hot wax, the inserts will kind of be pulled through the base a little bit by the heat and it will cause a dimple in your base and you don't want that. So just loosen your bindings up a little bit. Now we're ready to wax. Do not forget to tighten your bindings when you're done. It's a really easy thing to forget. And if you do, your bindings will be loose when you go out to ride and nobody wants that. Okay, and so looking at the base of my board, it's not too dirty because I do hot wax once in a while to get all that grease from the rails off the board and just to clean it up. But as you can see, there is some like dirt spots and a little bit of stains. And that's one of the things I wanna clean up um, so it will keep this base running really fast. And what I'm gonna to use to wax my board right now is just an all temperature wax. I've got my iron all heated up. And so now we're just gonna wax the board like you normally would, taking your piece of wax, heating it up a little bit and letting it drip on throughout the board. Now that we've dripped the wax all over the board kind of sporadically, we're just gonna take the iron again and heat up that wax one more time and rub it into all areas of the base if you kind of use a circular motion with the iron, you can work it into all the little areas a little bit better. So now that we got the whole base covered in wax and spread all about, we're going to hot wax scrape it. And so what we're going to do is take your iron and your scraper. It's kind of nice to have a big, thick, wide one. And we're going to heat the wax up ahead of the scraper, pulling it in front of the scraper. Be sure not to do this too slow and you don't want to have that iron sitting on one part of your base for too long because it will burn it. But if you just go at a steady pace with that iron in front, following with the scraper, it's going to pull that wax out. Ideally, the best place to do this is on a workbench, either outside or in a garage where you can just scrape it right off onto the floor or the ground. Or if you have a big garbage can, you can kind of leave it at the end of the table, scraping it right off your tip into the bin. But for me, since I'm inside, I'm just gonna scrape it all to the tip of my board um, and then clean it up afterwards. One key thing to do when you are scraping like this, scrape tip to tail, because that's the direction that the snow flows through your board. And so it just creates that better path um, when you will be on the snow for that snow to pass through your base. One thing you can do too before you start scraping is run the iron on the wax across the board a little bit and that'll just heat it up even more. Now we're just gonna follow the iron with the scraper, keeping a good amount of force on the scraper so it really pulls that wax up. As you do this, you'll start to see that the wax is pretty brown and dirty. Just like that, how it's all kind of brown. That's that dirt coming out of your base in the wax. Now that I've finished scraping on one width down the length of the whole board, I'm gonna step over a width of the scraper. But before I do that, I'm just gonna heat the wax up on that part of the base before we start scraping it. To clear the wax that collects on your scraper, I just slide it down the edge, with one of my metal edges, and it's clean for the next pass. Okay, now that you've hot wax scraped all the wax off your board, you can go back and do a regular coat of wax and this is the one that is gonna be used uh, to keep your board fast. So after you put the next coat of wax on, leave that on 
you can keep that on for a couple days or up until the day before you're gonna go snowboard for the first time. And then just do a dry scrape because when you dry scrape it, it leaves some of that, it leaves more of that wax in the pores of the board to keep it running faster. One of the nice things about hot wax scraping is that now that we've heated the board up because we've been running the iron on it, on that second coat of wax, the pores in the base of the board are gonna be open and ready to receive that wax so they will saturate deeper into the base and be able to hold into the base longer. So it'll keep your board running faster for longer. After you've put that second and final coat of wax on, go ahead and flip your board over and tighten down all those screws. You can do this now that the board has cooled down because the heat won't be sucking through the base of the board and through those inserts. And this is not something you wanna forget, so make sure you do this after you're done waxing and before you scrape. Because if you wait, you will forget. And nobody wants that. So there you go, I hope you learned a little something in how to hot wax scrape your board to prepare it for the winter season. You can also do this through the winter, especially if you hit a lot of rails and the grease from that rails kind of stains your board and makes it sometimes a black color. If you hot wax scrape, you can pull that off and it'll make that board run a little faster than it was before. Once again, thanks for watching this whole video. If you learned something new today and had a hot wax scrape your board, smash that thumbs up like button hit the subscribe button if you're not already, and even that notification bell if you wanna stay up to date on all the new videos I'm posting. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I will answer them right away. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that content and maybe learned something new, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.